donating to St. Jude Hospital, which will be on Instagram Live. All the charities that is 501c3, um, I'm sorry, 501c3, that has been approved by Instagram and Facebook. It has to be approved by them. I will put it on my Instagram and the proceeds, proceeds will go directly towards your foundation. So if you guys have any foundations or any 501c3s that you guys are working on, send them my way. I will be happy to donate and I'm pretty sure those that are watching will love to donate as well. As we begin to um, go until going to the summer weather, I want you guys to hold on. Let, let, let's stop it right there. Hold on. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Stop it right here. You guys are grown people. What you say? Your driving license say that you're grown. Okay. I'm seeing so many people trying to um, correct me of the way I was talking or the way I'm pronouncing words. To be honest, I really don't care what I say. I just loans, loans, I mean it from my heart. So if I, <laughs> if I pronounce foundations or per proceeds wrong, hey, <laughs> look where it got me at today. So I'm happy. Um, the way I'm talking because it's the way I was born with a speech problem. I was born like that. I was born with AD, um, ADHD. Um, I was in a special class. That was me. Me, Andrew Caldwell. Um, I was in a special class. I was born with ADHD. Um, I used to hear voices. I'm a billionaire. I'm receiving my honorary doctrine. <laughs> um, I've been to the White House going back to receive my lifetime achievement. Um, what else? What else? I went viral from uh, women, women, women. Uh, and I turned that into a business. <laughs> I have 20 employees that I'm employed that I hate paying every two weeks. Um, <laughs> uh, I pay my taxes on time. Um, matter of fact, we, yeah. So I'm happy that that I've been on Wildin' Out two seasons i've been i did things with bet i have did things with um vh1 permot uh i am happy i drive a porsche i drive a bentley um i drive a mercedes truck um i live in a I'll bankruptcy, fire, discharge, whatever it takes. I, but I thank God that the way I talk, I've been on the radio for a year and a couple months. <laughs> my contract has officially ended. <laughs> I got so many opportunities coming my way, and I'm not picking all because every opportunity that come my way, um, we have to look over to make sure it's legit. And just because I've been offered an opportunity don't mean I'm going to take the opportunity. <laughs> so I thank God that the way I talk, because the way I talk, it got me to have four to six million dollars in my bank account. I don't have to steal. I don't have to suck dick. I don't have to ride it. I don't have to do none of that. Oh, <laughs> I thank God I'm not on dope. I'm not on crack. I don't go into stores and steal. Oh, and I don't have to sleep my way up to the top. <laughs> I thank God for that. I'm not, I, mm, I haven't came on her and asked for no money. And I definitely haven't came on her and inbox you guys separate to say, uh, pay my bills. But I thank God that I don't have to do those things. I thank God I don't have to go out there and steal from hardworking people. Oh, I thank God I don't have to steal our government, even though the government is corrupt. I thank God that, ya, ba, 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 see, that's enough to speak in tongues. I thank God that I don't have to sit around with people and act like they my friends and as long as they are snake in the bush. I thank God that I don't let everybody come on this platform. I thank God that I don't go to everybody event that send me an invitation, no matter how famous you can be. I thank God that I don't have to sit around with people I don't like. I walk into a room, I look up, when they speak, I might look down. Come on and give God some praise. Oh, and I was a big liar. But thank God 
I thank God that I have a relationship with different mayors. Let me name some of them just in case you want to send this video to them. I thank God that I have a relationship with the mayor of Atlanta, Andre Dickinson. I thank God that I have a relationship with Mayor Contrell, that she follows me, New Orleans mayor. Hey, Mayor Contrell. I thank God that I have a relationship with the mayor of D.C. I thank God that I have a relationship with the governor of New York. I thank God that I have a relationship with the mayor of St. Louis. I thank God that I have a relationship with the mayor. Are you ready? <laughs> That's laughable. So please, you would never sit here and downgrade me. Baby, I'm laughing right at you. Okay. The joke is on you. <laughs> okay. So I thank God for that. Now, those is in the comments that's laughing, throwing rocks. Some of y'all are misery, mentally people. I'm just gonna let it happen. As I look back over my life, and I saw on I saw on on live that this woman posts everything that I post. She'll pause a video. She looks super slow. She's brown skin. She looks slow. And I said, let me dig a little deeper. That's why, you know, I thank God for people in higher places. But <coughs> I said, Andrew, you better not post that girl. Leave that slow, mentally crazy girl alone and just pray for her. You got to pray for those people. But <laughs> let's get back to what I was saying. But I thank God for many connections. So when you sit on this live and thinking you're going to hurt my feelings, believe me on that. I'm laughing all the way. Oh, I am getting paid off this live right now. I'm going to laugh all the way to the bank. The joke is on you. <laughs> you mad, ain't you? You're locking off, ain't you? You should. I ain't entertaining you, and I ain't going live with you either. I don't know you. You a stranger, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, so um, what does you being brown skin have to do with? I'm baby, I'm brown skin. Girl, shut up. Boy, wait, whatever you are, hush, quiet down. I just said it was some crazy girl, caca. I'm like, girl, what are you doing coming for me? But you want me to continue to talk about that person, but I'm not. <laughs> I said what I need to say. But um, I thank God that I have people that I never met who sit and makes fun of me. Because God said he will bless you. I'm not saying everybody on here is my enemy because I, I, I'm not looking for an enemy. But I'm going to eat steak in front of you. I'm going to live in a mansion in front of you. I'm going to continue to drive what I drive in front of you no matter what color you are. I'm going to do it because God says it. I don't care if you believe in Muhammad, Buddha, Hashanah, whatever you believe in. But I know my God said, <laughs> my God said he will make your enemies your footstool. You say, well, Andrew, I'm not your enemy. I'm just laughing because you entertain me. Good for you. I'm glad I make you laugh. But while you're laughing, the people are watching. Every view counts. Oh, Andrew, uh, why do you act like a woman? Why your husband staring at me? Oh, you don't have one. I don't want you. And stop saying... Hey, cousin. No, 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 baby. I don't claim you. Hey, I, hey, auntie. Hey. Hey, mother. Hey. Hey, sister. Hey. I'm saying hi to all because it don't hurt me. I mean, if you see the way I live in St. Louis, you would say, oh, I would shut up on Andrew Caldwell. But I want you to continue. I want you to continue to have my name in your mouth. I'm telling y'all, if you don't have haters and if you don't have people that sit constantly talk about you, 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 you ain't doing nothing, y'all, on this live. You ain't doing nothing. If you don't have a group of people, your name is always in their mouth. They sit up and hold hours alive. You ain't doing nothing, sweetie. I'm telling every, and y'all know I, y'all know I ain't live. Y'all know I ain't live. I'm telling y'all. If you, ain't, if you don't have enemies or if you don't have people that talks about you constantly, you are not doing nothing in life. The Bible says you ain't doing nothing in life then. Because everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to support you. Everybody is not going to. Everybody that's smiling your face telling you, I love you, don't love you. That's why I've always told you guys when I first went viral, Andrew, how do you deal with the hate? I just ignore it. But I like to read and clock back because I know it's going to make my views and I know that my followers are going to stay right there. 
They ain't going nowhere. It's been 10 years now. Oh, Andrew, you, you just going down. I ain't, I'm just laying low because I'm running for office. Huh. But I know how to act a fool and get on the shade room in the ball alert. That's easy. So when I tell y'all this, if I, never, if I never motivate you today, and, and, and since I'm speaking more positive, this, this live is not for everybody. So you just log off. Because some of you guys can't accept positive from people because you're so negative and evil. And when I say Jesus, you have to get off this live. You have to flee. Jesus. See, there, see, there is power when you say Jesus. It, it's in your soul. You feel it because I mean it from my heart. Jesus. I will serve him to the way to the day I die. Jesus. I will not let my enemies hurt me. Jesus. I will be rich to the day I die. You got to speak that thing. But I want to tell you this. When I go to many events, when I go to different cities, I, very, I am very watchful and I tell my team to always pray when we're getting ready to travel, which I'm getting ready to travel. And I said, don't let people just walk up on me. And they said, um, they said well, why, Andrew? You are a public part figure. You are this. People love you. I said, that's correct. But don't let people walk up on me. Once I explained it to them why, they understand why. I said, number one, I want you to tell me who's walking up behind me on the side of me before I allow them in my personal space. Because everybody that's smiling your face is not smiling. Some people are just walking around with demons to see who they gonna rub off on. Some people would drive this, been sitting on live talking about you forever and they wanna run and have a picture. I want to discern you before you walk up. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a preacher. I, 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 I'm not saying I'm anointed. But I'm Andrew Caldwell, and I, I'm crazy, but I hold higher of standards. I hold high standards. Because I want to know that your spirit is right when I shake your hand and talk to you. I don't want you to come, well, I, I want you to come out of nowhere. Because I want to catch that demon. I might want to cast it out in front of anybody. Oh, yes. Y'all, you cannot shake everybody's hand. Did y'all mamas always tell y'all don't eat at everybody's house? And don't you go in everybody's house? Have y'all heard of that before? So I, I, I live by that. I live by the strict rules of how we should dress and how we should we how should we eat and who we should not allow everybody in our house. I can take you a plate, but if you're hungry, you still can't come in my house. I'm gonna take you a plate and I'm gonna feed you at the corner because I want those spirits to come in my house. I want you to track my floors. My topic. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this and say. My topic on today is, guess who's coming for dinner? I want y'all to stay on here because I want y'all to catch on on here. My mama always told me, make sure the living room is clean. And I never... The living room is clean. And I never. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm back. Somebody calling me. I'm like, oh my gosh. They know I'm, I don't know these crazy people calling me. Um, I will hit them back in a little bit. Uh, I would deal with them accordingly. It's no one. Somebody, they, I, I, they, they po I told them to call me around this time. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know um, that I was want to go live today but i wanted to go live all right so my topic on today is guess who's coming for dinner my mama always told me and good evening everyone on this live today good morning good evening guess who's coming for dinner i never understand why mama always told me my aunt always told me because my mom did not raise me because my mom was on drugs so my aunt took care of me. And now, since I, uh, since I have the ability now at 30 years old, I'm taking care of my mom and I'm showing her love, how she should have loved me. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not holding that against her because God will have to deal with that at the end. But guess who's coming for dinner? That is my topic for today. And my subtopic would be is, 
Are you prepared to serve? Are you prepared to serve? Guess who's coming for dinner? My aunt always told me, make sure the living room is clean and make sure the bathroom is clean in the kitchen because you never know who might have a surprise visit. You never know who might come over your house. So she said, make sure the living room is clean and don't you go through my front door, go into the back door because I want the company to come into the front door so if they track anything or if they bring anything, I will monitor that and I can see that. And sometimes they can see the dirt that's coming on their feet. So you got to watch who, who you allow in your front door. You got to watch who you allow to sit on your couch. Everybody are uh, not allowed to sit in your living room. When you come to my house, for years, you are not allowed to sit in my living room. You can sit at the counter, at the kitchen, or you can sit in the family room. But guess who's coming for dinner tonight? Guess who is coming for dinner tonight? Somebody is going to catch this on today. Turn down your phones or do whatever you have to take. Don't. I want y'all to say, be still, because I got something that I'm saying to you today. And why my mom began to get Sunday ready, Sunday dinner ready. She began to prep her food the night before. And she began to mop the floors the night before. But when the company is getting ready to come over at three o'clock or they're getting ready to come over in the afternoon on Sunday, we still have to prepare our, our floors again. And we still have to dust and clean because you never know who is going to stop by your house. Saints of God, guess who's coming for dinner? And my subtopic, if I will use this, are you prepared? Are you prepared? Saints of God, guess who's coming for dinner? And I, I, I understand why some people not, don't, don't allow people in that house because I know that some people will bring spirits. And some people will come in your house and, 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 and figure out what roach they see and, 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 and do, I, do they see a rat. And you can't even allow your own family to come over your house. Somebody say only a few. And I know you want to prepare a Sunday dinner. And I know that you want to prepare um, family. And I know you want to prepare many other things. Because we're getting ready to approach the summer. And people have pool parties and people have get togethers. But you got to be careful who you allow near your house. Because spirits travel and everybody in your family don't support you. The Bible say it can be your own family entertaining your enemies. And you got to you got to you got to watch who you allow in your house. Everybody that's smiling for you ain't smiling for you. Everybody that's saying I'm praying for you, they're saying, Lord, take it away. Everybody that's saying, Lord, I need you ain't saying, Lord, I need they're saying, Lord, when is she or he are going to be broke like me? But when God begins to step in in your house. And everybody want to say, guess who's coming for dinner? It's Jesus. I got to both say, it's Jesus. Are you prepared to invite Jesus to your house? Is the house is clean? Is it prepared so that you, so that you can be able to serve him? When he sit at your table, is your table clean? Is your floors are clean? Is your temple is clean? Guess who is coming for dinner? And the guess who is, it's Jesus. I want to invite him to my table. I want to invite him to my house because he is worthy to be praised. I remember when I was in the hospitals and the double say, hey, and the doctor said, you wouldn't be able to make it. And the doctor said, if you decide to make it, you probably won't be able to walk. But I'm exercising right now. Saints of God, it's time to prepare your house because you never know who is coming to your house. And your kids are lonely sometimes. They want, to, they want their friends coming over. You got to watch who you allow around your kids. If your kids are telling you they feel uncomfortable around uncle, around auntie, you better take that approach. I know you love uncle and I know you love auntie, but you can't allow everybody around your children. You cannot allow everybody in your bathroom. Folks will bring roaches and, 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 and they will bring mices to your house. You got to watch who you allow backpacks to. 
But guess who is coming for dinner? It's Jesus. Jesus is coming for dinner. He's coming to your house. And are you prepared to serve him the right food? Oh, your house is clean. Guess who's coming for dinner? And then my subtopic is, are you prepared? Are you prepared if a spirit comes to your house? Are you prepared to receive him? Are you prepared when the bills are due, when you're up midnight trying to pay that bill? What are you going to do? Are you prepared? That's my subtopic for today. Are you prepared to receive the blessings? Saints of God, I understand that we want blessings on top of blessings. I understand that some of y'all want to be healed for high blood pressure, but you got to put that chicken down sometimes. And I know God is, is a healer, but let me tell you something. Sometimes the healing is not always on earth. See, and I know that it is. Somebody on this live got cancer. And I don't know who you are, but I speak help. I speak healing back into your body. And I kind of say. And every time. When we ask God, say, God, heal my heal my uncle, heal the people, heal the land. Sometimes it's not always on earth that God will heal you. Sometimes it's in the heaven. But I speak life on this, on this life. I speak healing on this life. And I command your body to line up with the word of God. Because God, you said, speak those things. You say, speak those things, and I speak healing on this life. I speak deliverance on this life. I speak money coming on this life because we are prepared to receive our blessings. Are you prepared to receive the word? Are you hungry on this life? Are you fasting after him? Some of you guys are doctors and entrepreneurs and dentists and um, CEOs. Never stop worshiping God because of your titles, because God don't care about your titles. Those are man-made titles. When you address yourself, you don't have to address yourself as committee woman or doctor or this or that or that. Your name is Shirley. Your name is Andrew. God don't care about your titles. He cares about your heart because he was the one that put you in position. And he allowed people to vote you in that can vote you out. We are getting ready to go into the season that God is getting ready to expose the world. And God is up to something with the government. We don't know if Trump is going to be president. We don't know if Joe Biden is going to be president. But whatever is going on, my God will supply all my needs according to his word. Do y'all hear where, what I'm saying on today? Guess who's coming for dinner? Guess who's coming for dinner? Jesus. Jesus is coming for dinner. And I want to know what the food are you going to prepare for him? You see, I still begin to say my topic and my subtopic. I still, I stayed on topic on today because Jesus is speaking to me right now. I know he's speaking because he's giving me what to say right now to you. And some of you guys are hungry for his word. I want you guys to, um, to step out on faith. Come out the house today. Put on some workout clothes if you haven't worked out. And begin to walk and speak and speak that thing. I'm rich. I'm blessed. I'm helped. And some of you guys may have been diagnosed last year, the year before. If you speak over your body, you will become healed. Guess who's coming for dinner? That's my topic. And my subtopic is, are you prepared? You might want to write that down. Because I want some of you guys to take heat to it. And I want you guys to take it like how you should take it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Guess who's coming forward? Somebody say, is he crazy? He walking around speaking in that phone. I am. Because I don't want to go live in my house. I'm exercising. I have every right to walk in my neighborhoods and these neighborhoods and speak and go live. I'm not harassing nobody. I just say, guess who's coming for dinner? And he, I say, he said, who? I said, Jesus. He said, amen. Because Jesus is coming to your house. And he ain't coming to take you away. 
He ain't coming to be rude or be disrespectful. Jesus is gentle. Jesus is coming to your household because you allow him. You invited him. And you have to understand, saints of God, this is our temple. This is a shell. Some of you guys have put dope, crack, cigarettes, sexual things, peed, all type of things on your body. Your temple, your temple is filthy. But if you repeat after me right now, Lord Jesus, come on, repeat after me, everyone. Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away right now in the name of Jesus. I believe that you died on a cross and you rose on the third day. God the Father, come into my heart right now and save me. And I will live for you for the rest of my life. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for coming into my heart. Thank you for forgiving me, oh God. Because Lord Jesus, I am sorry. And I believe that you died on the cross and you rose on the third day. God the Father, come into my heart right now and save me. And I will live for you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. You are born again. And let's say that if you haven't done anything that I named, the Bible say to repent daily because you never know when he's going to come. But Jesus is coming to some of you household. God ain't coming into no filthy household. Let me just go ahead and say that now. You know your house junky, filthy, carpet dirty, food all in the sink, food on top of the dishes. Floor's never been mopped. Dog is just walking around. Smoke built up in the house. Curtain is yellow. Sheets barely get washed. Sex every night. Lying going on in the house. Stealing going on. Fornicating going on in the house. Bot biting going on in the house. Witchcraft. He'll never forgive you. He'll never love you again. So, if you repent it, now, God is giving you time today to go and clean your households. Go and clean your house. Because Jesus is not coming to a, un he's not coming to a, un a, a dirty temple. And that's why when some people be dancing at church, I'll be saying, yes, dance, but we got to stop encouraging that mess. Everybody is dancing because they, they see a car and they see a little money. Everybody ain't saved that's dancing. And those that's, that's dancing in our church, some of them are demons. And we got to cast the devil out of them. And tell that devil to loose here, devil. Loose your hole right now, devil. We got to tell the devil to loose here. And we got to command that devil to flee, command that of old say. We got to command that devil to go away, devil. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Look on your, look at your little old say. Tell your neighbor, say, tell of old say. Come on, I want everybody on this live. Come on, everybody on this live. I need you. You need me. We are the part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We are the part of God's body. It is, it is. Let every heart need to be. Come on, somebody. I need you. Oh, yes. You need me. Oh, yes. We are the part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. Come on, somebody. We are the part of God's body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 we love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, God. 
We need you, oh God. Create me a clean heart. Oh Lord, I want to walk like you, Jesus. I want to talk like you, Jesus. Make me love my enemies. The way you will love them. And then you say, I want on you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. Come on, somebody. I love you. Do I have any say? Do I have anybody on this live that say, I love you? I need you to survive. I won't warn you with words from my mouth. And then they say, Thank you who love. Thank you, Lord. Come on and say, You've been so oh good then he say you made a way for me i just want to thank you lord thank you lord i just want to thank you Lord. While the spirit of the Lord is moving on this live, I want some people to, to begin to pray in the live. If you see any negative comment, bind those devils. Speak that thing on this live. Tell the devil, say, Satan, flee at them and say, say their page. They want some attention. But we're not giving them us some attention, but we're going to put the devil out. And I want everybody on this live to begin to cast the devil out of those people in this live. Right now, saints of God. If you see any negative comment, say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. And when we begin to say Jesus, come on, I want everybody to begin to flood the love of Jesus on this live. The numbers will drop. They will leave. Come on and tell the Lord, thank Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Say it again. Father, Father, Father. I'm going to make them leave. Come on, I'm going to make them leave. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus, 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 said again. The word, the spirit in them has to flee. When you begin to say that word, they have to go away and they can't come back. When you say that word, some of them already gave up on life because some of them don't. God will not acknowledge them because God does not acknowledge. If you sit around playing with witchcraft or voodoo, God said he'll never forgive you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And you know why I come on every day, and I've been doing this for years. I love coming on here talking about God because I have a relationship with him. And I want to share that relationship with you. And if you cannot accept that, you don't deserve to follow me because God is in me. That was matter. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Father, Father, Father. Healer, healer, healer. See, I know him to be a healer. Healer, healer, healer. Somebody say, is he crazy? No. Ha. How did I survive at 30 years old from a family that didn't have nothing? I've been brought up to say that I would never mount anything. I would never have anything. 
I've been taught that I'd never be nothing in life and I'd never have nothing in life. So you think I'm going to sit on this live and play with Jesus? You're wrong. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh. And then I say, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. He's been... He, did I tell you guys to come on this live? Or did I tell those that's in the comments? Did I tell you guys to come on? Did I tell y'all to bind Satan on this live? Did I tell y'all to put Jesus... I want 25 people to say Jesus on this live. I want 25 people to begin to flee these comments with Jesus. And I want you to see how the devil will flee. Some people would never acknowledge him, and some people would never have a relationship with him because they are not, never, never, they'll never will. God loves everybody because we're all his children. But when you begin to do certain things, he will never acknowledge you because the Bible says that I didn't say Andrew to call Jesus. How ya? Oh, yeah, come on, y'all. They leaving Jesus. How ya? They both say, Oh, yeah, make come on, make them flee, y'all. Jesus. Get the devil out of this life. Jesus. Come on, I need 25 people. The flood don't hurt Jesus. They leaving. How y'all my both see? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're leaving. It's hurting them. It's getting their soul. They throwing their phones. They getting ready to jump. They getting ready to do many, many other things but acknowledge him. Jesus. Come on, I need 25 people on this live to say, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's a healer. <laughs> He's a way maker. Jesus. Jesus, Satan, you have to glow. Satan, you have to flee. Oh, Jesus. 25 people. Come on, Jesus. Keep doing it. Come on, Jesus. Somebody is getting like, somebody is actually getting delivered on this live. Somebody is actually getting healed because they cut out a boat seat. They're confessing him. Jesus. Somebody is getting delivered. Somebody's son that been snatched to their lifestyle. They're getting, they're getting ready to come back. Somebody's son that been snatched to the homosexual lifestyle. God is changing them around like, like he's doing me. Somebody's daughter that's been snatched to prostituting or whoring or gang banging or stealing. They're getting ready to get, come back. They're going to come back to you. Jesus. Come on. They, they trying to take off us. From going live and talking about Jesus all the time. They trying to stop me from saying homosexuals. <laughs> but I say it all the time I get. God can deliver you. They're trying to stop us from saying Jesus. Because the devil is busy. He wants some of y'all in hell. But not on my watch. Everybody that's on this live. You heard his name. You heard the word. Guess who's coming for dinner. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Come on, I need 25 people. I need 25 people to begin to say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, yeah, they going. They leaving. They leaving, y'all. They leaving. They leaving. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. I feel it. I feel it. I can feel it. Jesus. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Don't y'all feel it? Feel it? See, a lot of negative comments, and the only thing I talked about was Jesus. The only fan was who's going There's nothing negative on this live. So I don't know the negative I must be doing something. Good on today. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Hey. My love. I ain't in a while. <laughs> Jesus. Feel good. I feel like the devil, man. I, I'm snatching somebody from the pits of. Somebody was getting ready. I just snatched. Oh, yes. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, see, we had 229. We was at 70. They leave. Bye bye. See, Jesus, oh, Jesus. 
See, that you can tell somebody, oh, I know how to f a man. They're going to say, girl, hi, boy. I know how to cheese up. They go flee. <laughs> If you I never done nothing, I know how to make f run. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, good. Did a good job. Oh, I feel like that. Oh. Oh, my Lord. Hi, Sam. <laughs> yes, we did a good job, y'all. We did. I am proud of y'all. Oh, how y'all both say? Oh, I'm proud of y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. Oh, how to make the devil flee. We know how to make them log off, we know how to make them unfollow. Bye, 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 bye. See, we did a good job, y'all. Pat on the back. So, everybody on this live, not everybody, but some people on this live, they anticipated you have won a soul. Some people on this live, you have lost yourself. You have gained the devil. And I pray that you flee because every time I see you on this live, Jesus, I'm going to win you back. We're going to advise you to come back to him. God love you. He l o v e you enough for you to allow you to be on this live for me to tell you he l o v e you. He told me to tell you he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He told me to tell you he sees you, he knows your cry. He told me to tell you I hurt you and I'm going to work the things out, but you just got to come to me. He said, You just got to come to me. Come to him. Come to him. And he wants you to acknowledge him. Ah! Glory be to God. Hey! Shondo. Hey, I'm about to say. Woo! I felt that. Hey! Woo! He wants you, and I'm about to say, to acknowledge him. Now, there might be somebody on this live to say, Andrew, I just need a little touch, I just need a miracle. Do I have anybody on this live that need a miracle, that need a financial healer, that need healing in their body? I'm going to say a special prayer. I'm going to get out your way. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this evening. Thank you for waking us up on this morning. Oh, God, we don't take it for granted. But, God, I'm standing in need for my sister. I'm standing in need for myself. And I'm standing in need for my brother. God, somebody on here just asking you for a financial miracle. And you say, in signs and wonders, you shall release. But God, you say, speak those things. And I'm speaking it right now, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command money to come. I command checks in the mail. I command raises on the job. And I speak healing in your body right now in the name of Jesus. And I command healing right now. Hey, hey, be healed. Come on, lift your hands and say, be healed, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Oh, touch right now, oh God. Touch that tumor. Touch that body. Touch that body right now in the name of Jesus. And I command your body to line up with the word. Want to chase a thousand, two or put ten thousand on the run. And I command your body to be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free. In the name of Jesus. Release money. Come on. Reach up and grab your money. Reach up and receive your healing. And I both say, How y'all? In Jesus' name. And I both say, In Jesus' name. And I both say, In Jesus' name. And I both say, Amen and amen. And I both say, Oh God, I get in the boat. See, I give you glory. I take no glory, huh? Oh God, I thank you for my healing. Oh, God, you for my healing. Oh, God, I thank 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 you for my healing. I thank you for none of t h e Some of y'all, ha, y o u o s e Some of y'all, i o s Ooh. God, I thank you. I don't know what to say. God, I thank you for this day. Ooh. 
I'm trying to go on, but it did y'all say that kind of both see. Ah, glory. I, I, I take no glory. I take no glory, but somebody has been healed. Somebody has been healed. Somebody is telling him thank you. Somebody is screaming right now. Somebody is rest right out of both say kind of both see. Oh, glory. Oh, my God. Mm, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. I what I both say. I worship you. I adore you, oh God. Oh, oh yeah. Use me as a vessel. Use me as a clay. Oh, ba 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 ba. See. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's raining. Ba 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 ba. See. Ha ha ha. It's raining. I feel the rain. It's raining. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. How y'all about say? Let it rain. It's raining. Ba 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 ba. See, ba ba will say. How y'all will say? How y'all? It will say. Na ba ba ba. See, it's raining. I feel the rain. How y'all? Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. It's raining. Haya da bo say. Babe. Haya. Oh. It's raining. I feel the rain. Oh, I feel it. It's raining. Oh, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah. Yeah, the little sigh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't have a little say. Take on another bop of my seat. He called a little sata. Yeah, the bull say. They said another bop of my seat. You know, both sand and another bop of my seat. Oh, can't have another bull say. Oh, yeah, the bull. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tell another that they do. Oh, oh, and I say, oh, Lord, yes, it's raining, it's raining, I feel the rain, yeah, 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 I feel the rain, and I will say, take another one, ba, 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 see, mmm, ba, 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 ha, yeah, the bull, say, ha, yeah, the bull, say, ha, yeah. Oh, and then I must say, take on an old boat, say, can I not have a boat, see, take on an old boat, sire. Oh, touch at a boat, say. But God, we ask you right now, oh God, to go to the boat, say, to go into the hospital room. I yell at a boat, say, say, can I not have a seat, on a boat, say. Somebody right now is laying before you. And they're saying, Lord, why my children? Why my daughter? Why my son? And God is saying to you right now, and it was meant because he tired of the pain and suffering. Somebody is crying right now and saying, Lord, why my children? And then God is saying, if I would allow them to stay here in the pain that they're in, would you be able to take the pain that's coming from them? So God is saying to you right now, let it rain. Oh, I feel I feel something. I don't know what, but I feel something good is about to happen. I feel something good is getting ready to happen for you. I don't know who I'm speaking with right now. But something good is getting happen. It's getting ready to happen for you. And it'll always mean money. Healing, deliverance, love in your heart, peace, sleep. But something good is getting ready to happen for someone on this life. I don't know who I'm speaking with. And I don't know who I'm talking to. But something good is getting ready to happen. I don't know who's getting ready to receive a new call, but you better receive it. 
I don't know who I'm getting ready to talk to, but I hear a raise. I, 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 God said, tell him what you want. Talk to him. I Do I got anybody on this live that's speaking tongues? Speak to him. Tell him all about it. Tell him all about your troubles. Tell him what we are going through. On that. Come on, speak to him. Do I have anybody on this live that's speaking tongues? Do I have anybody on this live that know how to talk to heaven? Speak to him. Tell them all about it. Speak in your tongues as the spirit of God give you utterance. Tell them all about it. Tell y'all both say, yeah, speak to him. Uh-huh. Come on, y'all. Come on, speak to him. Yes. Yeah, how y'all both say? Come on, tell them all about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I have any spiritual tongues on here? Tell them all about your troubles. Tell them what we need on this earth. I got to say, tell them all the shooting and killing that's going on on this. They'll both say, oh, yes, I got to say, hey, somebody is speaking in tongues on this life. I can feel it. And I'm both sick. And I'm about see. Oh, yes, Lord. Hi, y'all. Oh, yes, Lord. Come on. Tell them all about it. Come on. Tell them all about it. Thanks of God. I do see. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. My Lord, speak to him. Oh, speak to him. Don't stop now. Speak to him. Yes, 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 yes. Tell him all about it. Tell him all about your troubles. He hears your cry. He sees your tears. Oh, God, it said, I'm here right where you at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Lord. Huh. My Lord. Somebody is speaking to him. Oh, yes, I can feel it. I can feel it. It's a, when you are saved and sanctified, there's a connection. And when the spirit goes up, we can feel it. Oh, we can feel that I both see. Mm. Oh, yes, you better speak to him. Tell him about your troubles. Tell him about what you're going through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I love y'all. I'm going to get off this live and try to breathe. And while I'm getting off this live, I'm walking and praying. I love you. God bless you.